It is run. game number three, ladies and gentlemen. 3X is up 2-0. If they win this, they are Worship Masters champions of 2023. If they lose this, we go to a game four. For the side of Cats, Cats is bringing no battleship. They're going with the Klausowitz, the Petro, the Venezia, then the Shima, the Double Elbing, and the Kleber. What about hey, on your side? Well, 3X have decided to run something highly unusual. They're running a Condi. What? Oh, I thought that. I know, right? Then they're going to follow it up with Moskva, Elbing, Druid, Druid, Ragnar, Ragnar. So you just bring a Condi, a Moskva, and then five destroyers. For the side of cats, the Kleb is a unique mod, or is a ledge mod Kleb. Uh, the Shima is a ledge mod Shima. Anything else interesting? The spotting plane two point talent on the Klausowitz. Oh, yeah, I should probably be looking at builds. Yeah, spotting plane two point build on the Klausowitz. Nothing else that's really standing out as a shocker. Leg mod club. Mm hmm. Yeah. Sure, so range, ra range mod pet row. I hate this. Hmm. What about Angel Stone Sad now? He's not allowed to play as Kakumbo. Right, anyway, initial deployments over to the air. Well, you, you need a green team. Oh, you can't. Uh, it's up to you. I'm not going to force you to. Sorry. Like, no, repeat. Doing no, sorry. Repeat. Green oh, schedule. Initial oh. deployments. Go. Sorry. Initial deployments. Apologies about that. Was dealing with something in the background. Well, Shima Elbing Klausowitz going to C. And then they're taking a Kleb, an Elbing, a Petro, and a Venezzi up to A. Looks like the Kleber is going to be going towards the B2 island. Get out there and try to... Uh, have control of that he's gonna dump torps down towards the de3 island we'll see how that goes but Those pretty standard mm -hmm. uh yeah meanwhile 3x is deployment over at the air cap we have i don't know because twist chats in the way anymore uh, we have ragnar and elving and then they follow up by a Moskva in a kiting position we have a druid of kinniwater in the middle of the map looking for early spots or anything weird happening in the middle then over at the c uh, sorry over to bc the home caps we have druid conde and ragnar Pretty even split. Radar yeah. comes out from the Ragnar, spots the Kleb. Not really going to get much on this. Better question is how Venezia. much does the Venezia get? Oh! Yes. Venezia gets yes. I, 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 you take that trade. Kleber takes about 5k damage. Your Elbing takes 7k. You did uh, 10k and forced to heal out of uh, Ragnar early on. And you should have one more Venezia salvo flying in. Doesn't look like it's going to hit though. Nope. I'm just watching this druid in the middle. Thing. Yeah. Bold strategy to put a druid there. I mean, he's just going to keep going through, I think. They know where most of the stuff is now, so I suspect they'll move up towards C at some point. Maybe try to pincer that Klausowitz Elbing uh, Shima, because he will chunk the uh, Klausowitz down. Vile's druid has a little wall of torpedoes to navigate. Klausowitz opens up. Klausowitz v. Condi. Yeah, but it's a kite in Klausowitz versus the Condi, so the Klausowitz has the definite advantage. Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to say, you were saying that was a pro gamer move, and the Klausowitz gets Condied. Um, Condi might be in a little bit of trouble, though. You don't want to be stuck here forever. And the Shima's got you spotted, so it's not like you're going to be able to go dark. And remember, Klausowitz can use the, uh, can use spotter plane if he really wants to keep fighting this. But there's the Druid now. They open up with Kinemod. Kinemod having that center spot. And they, they do really want this damage on the, uh, on the Condi. They're still going for it here. 
26,000 done to him, but the Clausewitz is used to heal and has had 34,000, and he's got both his back guns uh, broke. They should heal up here in a second. Yeah, but one of them's already down to 2,500 from the 7,500 start. So, yeah, they got that Clausewitz got to be careful. I think he just dies. I don't think there's any being careful about it. I think he just dies now. Like, the, uh, it... You, you, you don't get out from this. This was just Because this is not a fuck ship. Yeah. This was just a brutal push. Like, they wait till the druid's ready in mid and everything's down south. And then it's just like, this is a straight line push. Like, they're just going straight at them. I mean, they're starting to get some damage on Kenny Mod, But now Kenny Mod's just going to press the magical smoke button and say, Ha ha, see you later. Can I have a super druid with triple torts? That sounds disturbing. But if Wargaming ever releases uh, super sh premium super ships as opposed to just regular super ships, yes. Oh, they will. Don't give it time. Give it time. Oh, yeah. I'm sure. At some point. Claws of it surviving longer than I expected, but I mean, you're down 100 points. You have no cap. They are working yeah, they went, on the they elbing. Went through. <laughs> they went through A, by the way. They did work the Elving and the Ragnar down some, and now they're forcing Blood Legend back, but it's... I mean... Well, Luke is dead. As soon as he... Got yeah. This, you got this stupid island here. Like, I hate this island. It's... I, I hate this island. This, this serves no purpose apart from to screw you if you ever try to retreat from here. Yeah. I mean, but Klausowitz of BYF is also dead. Elving trying to smoke him up to get him to last longer. He does have a DCP ready. And he's down to 5k and dropping. I think it's just too little, too late. They do get the Elving of Amugu, but here goes the Claws of it. I don't think this Elving survives. Um... He's going to be able to run for a bit, but yes, two druids hunting him and a Ragnar and a Conde. Well, even if the Conde turns away, yes, he's dead at some point. Barring a miracle. A miracle like violating tops? Well, they're not in fact eat tops. I, just, I think this is over. I, I I don't want to say it yet, but it, it does not look good. That depends who you're rooting for, really. True. Obviously, you're an impartial observer, being from the NA region, and NA haven't had a team in that for the last two rounds. That Wait, is no, true. hang on. Yeah, yeah. two rounds. Uh, I am very biased and would very much like to see the EU region once again display their supremacy is it their supremacy though if they're owned by an na guy no no no, no. they're getting paid by an na guy <laughs> Everything is but isn't like, that like the most na the of any drive principles drive well look you're you're a twitch streamer <laughs> people subscribe to you does that mean they own you uh some would say yes Uh, all joking aside, chat, as we sit here watching this, I mean, it really is just, it's 2 minutes and 42 seconds. Barring a miracle of throws, this game is over. I mean, the Petro of Steel Shadow had to go dark. The Kleber of Yuka backing over towards C. They're going to try to pinch C. They do have a Venezia in a position where if the Venezia can get shells out, it might become interesting. But Ragnar Druid should just mm, eat an Elbing Shima alive. Especially, that's a full health solitude in a Ragnar. And the Shima spotted. And he's bowing. Oh, they're not even shooting the Shima, actually. They're shooting at the Elbing instead. Yeah. I suppose he is the actual DPM threat. And he's also broadside and, you know, AP yeah. hurts. Shima charging. There Elbing. goes the Elbing. Minute 27. Does the Shima have Torps ready to go? No. Well, maybe. I was going to say, if he has Torps ready to go and he just 
manages nope doesn't get any of them off <laughs> and that yeah that that will be the game ladies and gentlemen there is nothing at this point i mean nothing's going to get into b the Kleber might get into c but the elbing of la 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 is about to go down and 3x is going to win the 3-0 in 29 seconds less if they kill off this elbing but they will be your worship masters invitational winners for 2023 Surprise, Pikachu face. <laughs> Congratulations to 3X. <laughs> they have won their first tournament.